the Google I use is the New Zealand one. Uh, yeah. And so it always comes up with the New Zealand businesses first. And you would filter a lot for New Zealand just to make it what we're looking at more specific. We do, you know, quite a lot of sales to New Zealand customers, so maybe that would be a case and I would. Most searches I will, unless I'm trying to buy something offshore. Yeah, normally. I put their name and then Wellington, or the company, and then New Zealand, yeah. I hit, hit to Google first, and then I look for the, you know, the .co.nz. I've only been here a week and a bit, so not very often. <laughs> New Zealand website, local. Local. The local content. It's located here. New Zealand owned. Yeah, obviously .nz gives me uh, a bit more of an understanding of where, that, where they are based. I'd say it's pretty safe, but you trust it. Well, there's a loyalty factor. Yeah, it's nice to know that you're dealing with a New Zealand company and that you have certain, there are certain benefits of that as a consumer, for example, the Consumer Guarantees Act and so on and so forth. But if something did go wrong, you'd probably be able to find them and, uh, you know, kind of get it followed up with some support, something like that. Once at uni, I know we were encouraged to look for NZ um, endings. Like buying shoes or something, you wouldn't, you'd, if you saw dot on NZ, you'd think it was legit, you yeah. know, you wouldn't yeah. think twice. Dot com suggests it's an international more of an international organisation. Uh, not necessarily, but it does. If you're looking straight up, you haven't got the time for anything, you go straight to a New Zealand website. Yeah.